So now we're going to play a little bit with uh, Pong Jin in a ward off posture. We'll keep it real simple for the, um, that we're gonna do with the, with the left arm first. I'll do it facing you. So take a, uh, you know, about a hip width stance so that, and not too big. We wanna just keep this fairly contained. And we're not gonna do a whole thing. What I'm gonna do is begin in my rear leg. And then, so I'm, I'm loading up about 70% of my rear leg. So I feel the ball of my, my front foot. In this case, it's my left foot. I'm gonna use that, my left foot. I push my left knee forward so that I can feel the floor through my foot. I can feel the connection from the floor through my knee of my body. I feel that support there. And then I spiral down to the right without moving the knee. So the knee stays set. I spiral down to the right. So I'm loading up my left quad. So really sinking down into that. So notice I'm about 70% in my left leg now. And I'm going to turn like this and reach out. So the arm position ends up like this with the hand over the center of my chest. Notice that my elbow is lower than my shoulder. My wrist is lower than my elbow. Okay. And so my right hand comes down and reaches down. And there are a lot of ways of doing a, a ward off posture. So this is just one of them, but so What's going to happen here is I'm going to bring the arm out like this. So if I'm using muscle in this, in this situation, if I'm using Lee, then as we've demonstrated many times, this is a, a very weak connection. So if someone pushes on that, it's, it's pretty easy to collapse if I tense up through my shoulder. So this is a, an example where the only way you can actually get this thing to work is through gin and specifically this expanding up and out energy pong gin. But there's a dance that goes on here between the energy and the structure that enables the energy to go where we want it to go. So in this case, if I'm going from my from my back leg in this case, my right leg, feel the ball of my left, set my left knee and spiral down to the right. So I'm loading up that left claw. And as I do that, I reach with my elbows. Just feel that. And do that again. So you're, you're feeling the ball, set the knee, spiral down. And as you set, as you spiral down to the right, you feel your elbows, you reach out with them, opening the shoulder joints. There's an immediate energetic connection, a whole body energetic connection that occurs here, but it also creates that tensegrity we're talking about there, the, the capacity to the whole connective tissue system to, to get that whippy tensile strength. So, this just sets us, this just begins the conversation. I'm spiraled down to the right. I'm loading up that left claw. And as I turn, I'm going to now reach with my wrist. So there's a rotation that occurs. So from here like this, I set my elbows like this. I'm going to now 
rotate the forearm as I turn my body. So I'm going like this and my hand goes from, from down and facing out to rotating and facing in. What happens is that you're connecting up with the elbow gin and this creates a whole different um, rotational uh, spiraling kind of energy that comes up that if I just bring my hand up like this flat, it's, it's gonna be still a fairly weak connection. Even if I'm using my E to do it, it's, you know, it's still a weak connection because the structure is not supporting the chi. But if I want, I'm here like this and I oh, set my elbow and I rotate that. I'm reaching with my wrist as I do that. With my left wrist here. At the same time, I'm pulling down with my right hand. So this is where you get the, the grasping the sparrow's tail idea. So this, notice my fingers are relaxing and I'm reaching with the wrist. And as I do that, we get the last thing to come online there are, oh, the fingers, you're expressing the whole system there and your, your body lines up. So you're, you're spiraling down to the right, you set both elbows as you release the quad, and then as you turn, you're rotating that left forearm, reaching with the wrists, reaching with the fingers. Yeah, so let's just do that a few times. So in your so left ball, set the left knee, spiral down to the right. Sinking into that left qual, spiraling down to the right, reaching with the elbows. Feel, feel the whole system. Feel the tensile strength in the whole body. And then turn, as you're turning the waist, you're pivoting on the right heel, you're closing that down and you're reaching with the left wrist rotating the forearm. So you're squared up. Do that again. So after you start like this, reach with your elbows, spiral down to the right, reach with your elbows and turn, reach with the left elbow. At the same time, reaching down and out with the right elbow. Reach with both wrists, rotate the left forearm as you do that. Reach with the fingers. Again, left ball, set the left knee, spiral right, reach with the elbows. Turn, reach with the left wrist, rotate, reach with the right wrist as you're coming down. So if, uh, you wanna give me a hand with this? Oops. Cool, so uh, I just stand there. So if if I'm here like, like this and you, you wanna, you're pushing in. If I do not set my elbows and I try to turn, I'm, I'm lost. But if, if I just set my elbows, then immediately there's a, an uprooting quality that comes through, the, uh, through that. But then I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn. So here again, I set that elbow. And if I just try to push my way out with my forearm, nothing's happening. But if I set the elbow and reach with the wrist, as soon as I reach with the wrist, 
it doesn't require a lot of effort push and it doesn't require a lot of effort to generate the pong chin so then i'm here like this i'm off i reach with that rotate the forearm and <laughs> there is a it's it creates this this beautiful strong coherent unit that enables that to work we'll try <laughs> so, so put your left foot forward okay and so we're so actually bring you over this way here we go good all right so you're bringing the left foot forward and <laughs> Ball knee spiral down and set the elbows right. So if you're you're reaching out to if she's setting the elbows, I can't do anything. She doesn't set the elbows. It's it's easy. She sets the elbows, boom, and I'm already gone. But wait, there's more. So <laughs> the wrist, the key that the keep the the big mistake a lot of people do is they keep that arm straight. But if you bend the wrist, release that, relax that, and reach with the wrist, and reach with that as she's turning, it creates this very powerful gin. If she just tries to push me away without that, nothing happening. But sets the elbow, reaches with the wrist, and I'm gone. So this is how we generate Hong Jin. So boom, and then, so you can, even if you don't do, you know, even if this is not representative of how your form does a, uh, does a ward off posture, it's still the same thing. So that we get, as soon as you get that quality of energy there, and you, you mastered that quality of energy, that particular gin, then you can use it in very, very simple kind of kind of situations here. Like if Maria grabs my my hand like this, I set my elbow and I go like that. It, it I'm using the same idea here, the pong jin, but it doesn't require the whole the whole build up to make that happen. It's a you know it's boom. You can do it with a very light touch and make that happen. Thank you. So. <laughs>